Baby versions of the T-Rex from Jurassic Park sounds. Why are you going into the floor? Why are you going into the floor? Uh, look at him, he looks like a crocodile swimming in the floor. <laughs> Good day friends, welcome back to Minecraft Monday, which today is on a Tuesday, uh, just don't ask, uh, I have reasons. Uh, I don't have a lot of time today to make the video, so I thought instead of making a full episode of the research center where we're trying to bring back extinct animals, let's have a look at the actual process on how to bring back dinosaurs with the archaeology and fossil revive, I think it is called mod that I'm using because I did some research for it because I was confused how to, how to do it exactly so i made this thing completely for myself by the way i just made this for myself just so i would be able to look back at it and know how to do it and then i thought you know what i might as well make it into a video so other people know as well how to make the dinosaurs using this mod in minecraft so i need to find these fossil blocks that have to be mined with an iron pickaxe uh like this if you're not on creative of course uh then you can get these bio fossils uh sometimes not all the time, like, I don't know, it's set a number 25%, I don't really know. Not all the time, but sometimes you get these fossils, and then you need a special thing, this block, the analyzer, to get the DNA from the fossils. So you can find these fossils and also these, what are they called, relic scraps. So then you need to craft them on a the, uh, crafting bench first you need one of these and one of these uh and then you do it like this on a crafting workbench and then you get uh an analyzer this is how you make an analyzer <laughs> this is i made this for myself so this is why there's some typos and it's not all very great um so then you make this thing and you put in then you can put the biofossils in here and you just wait and it just gets dna from that but it also gets a lot of other stuff as you can see in this chest uh, it also gets a lot of sand a lot of bone meal but sometimes you get dna look at this triceratops dna all this all this DNA, DNA from all these dinosaurs. This is so awesome. And you said, can you show how to make a T-Rex? So let's get some T-Rex DNA. Uh, let's say if I put some bones in here and I get some uh, T-Rex DNA out of it, then how do I turn that into an actual T-Rex? Now what you need to make next is, uh, what's it called again? A culture vet, which is this thing, uh, which turns the DNA into the actual egg or the baby dinosaur or a fish or a plant, depending on what kind of uh, DNA it is. This is a T-Rex, so it will turn into an egg just like this, uh, except this picture is the Brachiosaurus, I think. So this is how you make the culture vet, all these items you can get in normal Minecraft. Uh, this is glass, I have a different texture for that, but this is glass. Uh, four blocks of glass, three times iron, uh, one bucket of water, and then you need the green cactus for some reason to make it to give it this dramatic green color, I guess. So, and once you've made that, you get this thing, which basically works a bit like a furnace, uh, except instead of burning and smelting things, you're making dinosaurs. As you can see here, I've already made the T-Rex, but what you need is the DNA, you put it in here, and then you need some kind of fuel, which is some kind of biological thing. Uh, I read that milk is really good, and it is, because if you put the milk in, with the DNA. This is the loading thing that you see here, this DNA string. Um, one bucket of DNA is enough to completely fill it and it if doesn't use up the bucket itself, just the milk, which you can get for free from cows, of course. So that's why it's probably the best thing to use but you can also use eggs which i was using here as you can see there's a small chance that something will go wrong i don't know how big this chance is it's already happened like three times uh, i just made this one just to test it out with a lot of dna and a lot of eggs which are automatically uh, being put in here okay anyway there's a small chance that somehow this thing will explode i don't know why so that's why it might be worth it to make some extra culture vats like this make like a stack of them just in case they explode you put in the dna and whatever biological thing you have chosen to use as fuel uh milk and egg are a good uh option and then out comes an egg or something else i think 
that's a hundred percent chance but i'm not really sure i've not been testing it that much and then you get an egg which you use just like in arc i don't know if you guys have ever done it in arc i have never done it in arc but i've seen someone do it in a video basically you need to put it in between some torches so it's warm enough maybe a furnace works i don't actually know i know that this works so that's just an easy way and this is probably how i will do it in my videos and when i'm playing and then you just wait until it hatches so i guess i will just wait until this t-rex hatches and then all i have to do is go back to my survival uh, thing and try to reenact all of these steps try to redo all of these steps uh to do it uh also make sure if you're doing it you have some kind of wall around it of course unless if you want a t-rex on the loose Oh, it exploded again. Okay, so that's actually a fairly high chance of happening. Also, there was one more thing that I really wanted to show in this video, but apparently I deleted it, which is such a shame. Basically, I used my um, Lego bricks to build a giant wall, and it looked a lot like the one from Jurassic Park. I took this image from Jurassic Park. I just rebuilt one of those fences. You know the one that the T-Rex breaks through in the first movie? I built it out of Lego and it looks so cool. Oh, there's the T-Rex. <gasps> there it is. A dinosaur egg has hatched. A T-Rex, a baby T-Rex. Hi. Okay, so now at least I know and you guys know how to do it with this mod. How to get your own dinosaur. How to get your own T-Rex, for instance. After that, I don't actually know if you have to care for it. Or what exactly you have to do. This is a T-Rex. Will it attack me? I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. Hi, will you attack me when I'm on survival? <gasps> Wait, what? It's, it looks like it's trying to attack me. <laughs> it makes like baby versions of the T-Rex from Jurassic Park sounds. Why are you going into the floor? I'm so, why are you going into the floor? Uh, look at him, he looks like a crocodile swimming in the floor. So this is a baby and over time, I'm assuming it will grow big. I'm just going to hope that I don't actually have to do... That I don't actually have to feed it. I mean, come on. Cows can survive in the wild. Then you can survive in the wild, right? Okay, anyway, that's today's video because I don't have a lot of time. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it useful. And otherwise, this video is just going to... If this video gets zero views, then it's just for me to look back to know how to create the dinosaurs. And maybe I will double check all of the bugs and glitches and everything. Because that's why I even made this world. This is just testing with the different mods that I have. And the way they uh, act with each other. And the way they interact with each other. And what works and what doesn't work. Uh, and what bugs and glitches I get, etc. That's why I made this. So uh, apart from that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. <laughs>